Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ona de Guzman, and our topic for today is angle pairs. Specifically, we have four complementary, supplementary, adjacent, and vertical angles for grade 7, quarter 3. So after going through this tutorial video, you are expected to, number one, derive relationships of geometric figures using the measurements and by inductive reasoning, supplementary angles, complementary angles, congruent angles, vertical angles, and adjacent angles, as well as linear pairs. And number two, determine the complement or supplement of a given angle. So let us define first angle pairs. So it is a relationship between two angles working together to display some unusual or interesting property. So the first of which is complementary angles. These are two angles with the sum of 90 degrees. On the other hand, supplementary angles are angles with a sum of 180 degrees. Next one is adjacent angles. These are angles that have a common sign. While if we are talking about vertical angles, are two angles or angles formed by intersecting lines. Whenever we satisfy the condition for supplementary angles as well as adjacent angles, we have the linear pair. On the other hand, vertical angles are congruent angles. Let's define more complementary angles. Two angles are complementary with each other if the sum of their measure is equal to 90 degrees. Let's have this example. So we have the illustration, we have these angles, okay? We have angle A, B, D, as well as angle D, B, C. So we can say that the measure of angle A, B, D plus the measure of angle D, B, C is equal to 90 if they are complementary. Now, if we want to find out the measure of angle A, B, D, so, plus 32 is equal to 90 degrees. We'll subtract both sides of the equation by 32. So, we come up with the measure of angle ABD is equal to 58. So, therefore, ABD is equal to 58 degrees. Let's have another example. So, again, the measure of angle EFG plus the measure of angle GFH is equal to 90. Okay. So, if we want to find out the measure of angle GFH, so that is 65 plus the measure of angle GFH is equal to 90. And subtract both sides of the equation by 65, so we come up with the measure of angle GFH, which is equal to 25 degrees. Okay, on the next figure, it is not necessarily that they have common sign. So we can still consider they are complementary angles if the sum is equal to 90 degrees. So let's have an example. So the measure of angle IJK plus the measure of angle LMO is equal to 90 degrees, provided that they are actually complementary angles. Now, solving for the measure of angle IJK plus 72 is equal to 90 degrees, then subtract both sides of the equation by 72. So we come up with, okay, measure of angle IJK is equal to 18. So therefore, the measure or simply as ABD is equal to 18 degrees. So let's move on to supplementary angles. Two angles are supplementary with each other if the sum of their measure is equal to 180 degrees. So let's look on our illustration. So take note that from the illustration, we can say that the measure of angle CAD plus the measure of angle EAR is equal to 180 degrees. 80, provided that these two angles are supplementary. Now, solving for the measure of angle CAE, uh, the measure of 44 is equal to 180. Subtract both sides of the equation by 44, so we come up with the measure of angle CAE, which is equal to 136. So CAE is equal to 136 degrees. Let's have another example. So this time, 
Okay, from our illustration, so we have the measure of angle NOE plus the measure of angle SOE is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute the value of 120 for the measure of angle SOE. So, we have, okay, measure of angle NOE plus 120 is equal to 180. Subtract both sides of the equation by 120. So, we come up with the measure of angle NOE is equal to 60. So, we can say that NOE is equal to 60 degrees. Again, so supplementary angles are not necessarily have, okay, have the same or common side. Sometimes, they are detached as long as the sum is equal to 180 degrees. So, let's, uh, let's take this example number 3. So, again... So we have the measure of angle DLS plus the measure of angle SDC is equal to 180 degrees if they are supplementary angles. So looking for the measure of angle DLS plus 126.5 is equal to 180. Subtract so both sides of the equation by 126.5. So we come up with the measure of angle DLS is equal to 53.54. DLS is equal to 53.5 degrees. The next definition that we will talk about is linear pairs. Two angles which are adjacent and supplementary with each other. So let's look on our illustration here. So from this, we can form the following linear pairs. We have angle CHF and angle FHY. Also, angle YHN and angle FHY. Also, we have angle <coughs> CHF and angle CHN. And finally, we can have angle YHN and angle CHN. Let's move on to adjacent angles. These are angles which have a common side and a common vertex but no interior points in common. So, let's have our example here. So, we have angle CAE and angle EAR are adjacent angles because they are sharing the common side, which is actually angle A, or I mean, ray AE. So, the line segment AE is their common side. So, the point A is the common vertex. Let's have another example. So, Angle NOE and angle SOE are adjacent angles because they are sharing common side, which is okay, ray OE, or we can say that line segment OE is the common side, and point O is the common vertex. And finally, we have angle DAE. So we have angle DEA and angle L. EA are adjacent angles because they are sharing common side and that is the ray EA or we can say line segment EA is the common side and point E is the common vertex. So let's move on to the next pair of angles which is vertical angles. Vertical angles, these are the non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So let's consider the lines L and N. So whenever we are, we have two intersecting lines, there are four angles formed here. So we can say that, okay, angles 1 and 3 as well as angle 2 and 4 are vertical angles. It is like a mirror to each other. So specifically, angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent angles as well as angle 2 and angle 4 are congruent angles. Again, if we say congruent angles, these are angles whose measures are equal. So from our illustration, if measure of angle 2 is 50 degrees, then we can say that angle 4 is equal to 50 as well because they are vertical angles. Take note, vertical angles are congruent angles. Let's have another example. If measure of angle 1 is equal to 110, therefore, or then, measure of angle 3 is also 110 because vertical angles are congruent angles.
sense. Now that we are done talking about the angle pairs, let's move on to some exercise. So write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. So number one, complementary angles measures 180 degrees. So the answer here is actually okay, false because it should be, okay, instead of 180, it should be 90 degrees. Let's move on to number two. The supplement of 60 degrees is 120 degrees, and that is true. Number three, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are complementary. So the answer is actually false because, okay, it should be supplementary. Next, number four, the measure of adjacent angles are congruent. The answer is false because instead of adjacent, it should be vertical angles. Let's move on to number five. If the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degrees, then these angles form a linear pair. And the answer is true. Let's move on to exercise number two. So we have determined whether the following pairs of angles are complementary, supplementary, linear pairs, adjacent, or vertical angles. So let's consider illustration on the right side. So angle OPH and angle OPE as well as angle OPE. So where's that? So O, P, and E. Okay, so P, E. So we have O, P, E as well as A, P, A, P, and E. So there are two possible answers. So we can have either the linear pair or supplementary angles. Next, number two, angle OPH, angle OPH as well as angle HPA. So O, P, H and okay, HPC. So we can say they are adjacent angles because they are sharing the common side, which is okay, PH. Number three, angle OPE and angle HPE. So they are actually vertical angles because they mirror each other. Okay. Next, number four, angle HPC and angle APC. So let's have that one. H. PC and angle APC. So they are actually adjacent angles. And finally, number five, angle CPH and angle HPR. So CPH and HPR. There are two possible answers. So they are either complementary or adjacent angles. So that ends our lesson on angle pairs. Again, this is teacher Anu Mikusman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.